Where are we going? Going on the train. And we're going to York. We're heading to York today, Glasgow tomorrow for two days. We will be going to Newcastle and also Manchester. We're super excited. Um, this is the fab train behind me and we're going to be going to York. Woo, let's go. I'm just in the most beautiful bakery called the Bluebird Bakery and it's um, on these, like, this area called the Shambles which is a historic part of York. Tell me a bit about the bakery. So Bluebird Bakery started off um, in my sister's kitchen um, they outgrew that so they now rent somewhere in Malton where they do the baking throughout the night and then deliver it here the following day. So we're incredibly excited to be at the Yorvik Centre today. Um, I've not been here since I was a child, so um, it's brought back a lot of memories from when I was young as well, and just kind of coming here with my family. Are you excited, boys? Are you all right? In we go, boys. What do you say? Thank you, thank you, ladies. Let's go and learn about the Vikings. Time to see how people have lived in the Viking age. So I am indeed making Viking money. Wow. Viking money. Might be made out of metal. Was a metal. A very precious metal. What's wrong with our money at the minute? They don't have the symbol. Mm, they don't have any symbols on. So gently pop that over the top. One, two. Wow. Stamped like that. Wow. Okay. Just getting these beautiful treasure chests for the boys because they've got lots of treasures at home. Pebbles, shells, arts and crafts. You're going to put them all in there, aren't you, Oliver? Xander, you wanted the smaller one, didn't you? So, we are now headed to the um, National Railway Museum, which is a much-loved place of ours. We always go there whenever we go to York. Wow, look at all these trains. The fab play area. Choo -choo. So we are at the refectory. The weather's a bit windy now. Look how pretty it is with all the little lanterns outside. And let's go and eat. Let's go. We've been here before, um, quite a long time ago. We reviewed them, and um, they are part of the principal hotel in York right in the centre, right next to the train station. They're family friendly, it's absolutely beautiful. It's full of plants in here so that you feel like so relaxed. It's really airy and pretty. Gorgeous, long, like low hanging lights. Um, oh my gosh, it's a Pinterest dream in here. So we've got cauliflower cheese here. We've got an amazing fish pie for Peter. Burger, chips. And roast chicken with thyme and Oh my gosh, roast potato. Yeah, roast new potato. What's been the best thing? Vikings. Some of Vikings are real. It's only three. Two are real Vikings. Three are. And one is another one. It's because there's, there were two real life actors in the middle of lots of models that were Vikings and then they started talking to us and it was crazy wasn't it? We're going to our bed now, we may get on our train and then go to sleep. Nah. got the tickets. Make a good fan you were saying Oliver. So we're back now, we're in Leeds and we are heading to the hotel, we've had a great train journey, it's been brilliant going to York and we're off to the hotel now and then we're going to be getting up early and heading to Glasgow. Who 
everyone, it's day two and we've just arrived in Glasgow at the train station. We're so excited to be spending the next two days here. The station's really beautiful as well, all the kind of like old details and stuff. Like, look at that piece, there's Champagne Central over there. Maybe we should go get a glass, celebrate being here. So we've dropped our bags off um, at the hotel, which is really central. We're nipping to the Science Museum, I'm really excited. Um, we're going to spend a couple of hours over there. So we're at the Science Museum, the Glasgow Science Museum. So pretty here. This looks so cool. They're letting us actually film just at the end now. Everybody's come out. Um, this was an incredible show. We are loving Glasgow, it's so chilled here, it's got a gorgeous atmosphere, it's just as you walk around you feel super relaxed, especially right here by the river, just um, so tranquil and peaceful. We are dressed and ready, the evening shoes by Repetto. What time is it, 8 o'clock? 20 to 8. Godfather burger, which sounded amazing. The kids have got burgers. Obviously we're at steak, cattle and roll. I'm so impressed though, the menu's got vegan burgers. There's so much on offer here, it's amazing. How is it? What an epic meal. I completely know why it's called steak, cattle and roll because I'm about to fall out of it. Absolutely amazing, great value for money, delicious. The kids absolutely loved it. We devoured burgers. Peter loved his vegan burger. I mean, just amazing. It's Monday, it's not as warm today, it's a bit of a breeze, but it's definitely not cold. We are going to do a spot of shopping in um, Buchanan Street. Buchanan Street is famous for shopping. Um, we're going to walk down there, have a little look around. We're then going to go to the Riverside Museum. How cool does this place look? Wow. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. <laughs> Nice. Wow. Oh, yummy. So we've just arrived at the Riverside Museum. Lots going on here, lots of people, um, lots of children. People are so friendly in Glasgow and it's the city so full of character and personality and history and stunning buildings and yeah, just so, so impressive. I'm just going to jump in and take a bit of refuge inside. Bed's here, where you can sleep. Look at the dinner table. All their waterproofs. <laughs> Double trouble, boys. Get cleaning. See, see, so this is the kitchen on the ship. And another one up there. That was awesome. 
totally unmissable museum. We've been to two fab ones since we've been in Glasgow. Um, this one is called the Riverside Museum and the other one was the um, Science Museum. Both fab, fab museums. We've had an amazing day, an amazing two days. We are going to rush now, get, pick up our bags and go and make our train. Glasgow, you've been amazing. Hi everyone, so we are at York train station. We're gonna be getting on to the Trans Pennine Express train to Newcastle. We're really excited. We've not been to the city for a while and we've got loads of fun, lots of exciting things. Let's go. enjoying drinks and eating outside our fresco dining it's so nice that the sun's out um, Newcastle is truly beautiful loads of shops here loads of stew, lots of cultural stuff going on families loving it I love the way everything's really compact isn't it Pete? so we can get around easily now we're heading back near the station um, to the center of life we're going to check out the dino exhibition Wow, is that cool? Oh my gosh, look how excited they are. Such a super, super museum, must see, must visit place when you come to Newcastle. Have the most amazing time there. We're gonna go head back to the hotel. Um, we're going to, the kids wanna rest their little feet for a bit. They're gonna watch a bit of um, TV. And then we're gonna get changed for this evening. Ready for dinner, Lady in Red tonight. And we're ready to eat. We're hungry again, aren't we? I can't believe we're hungry. uphill now which is really good exercise come on guys not that bad get your legs moving just arrived at Jesmond Dean Park in Jesmond, a really pretty area and um, the kids are playing in the playground already and we are going to have a little walk. It's a little bit rainy but it's not stopping us. Look at the little oh, girl. That's, right. <laughs> that's a good chicken move. Oh, I guess it can go really flat. Hey. 
Yeah, maybe. So right in Jasmine Park and um, by the playground, it's a really cool area called Pets Corner, and um, there are loads of animals here from rabbits to budgery guards to hamsters. And, oh, it's wonderful! We're just going to get onto this choo choo train, which is really cute. Let me just show you the fun. So sweet, Thomas. Kids are already on. Pete's grabbing a picture. So all the places we visit on this trip are recommendation from my readers and people that follow me on social media and stuff. So um, this is called Peace and Life and it looks amazing. I've been on the website, lots of people recommended we go. So we're gonna go and have Sunday lunch there and I can't wait. Here it is, Peace and Life. Let's go in. Amazing restaurants we've eaten in. Um, the, the food quality is Michelin star worthy. I mean, amazing. You've got to come here. We are just about to get on the Transcendental Express back to York. We've had a fab time in Newcastle and we've done absolutely loads. We've eaten amazing food, seen great sights, gone to this super exhibition at the brilliant museum here. We've done loads. We've loved it every minute. So it's Saturday and we have just left York train station. We're heading to Manchester for two days of the weekend and we cannot wait. We love Manchester, it's one of our favourite cities and we haven't actually been for years for just a weekend with the family. We're going to be visiting places we've never been before so come along. We're heading over to Home Sweet Home. Um, really looking forward to getting some lunch after a really nice train journey. Let's go eat! Delicious, it's perfect for families. Totally recommend it. So we've just jumped out the cab and got to the National Football Museum and the cathedral's right there and the corn exchange is right there as well. So everything's really central. So this is a great place to come when you're visiting Manchester. Died in 2005, I think, so this was a few years before. So there's lots of items upstairs. This museum is brilliant. It's got so many things. Um, obviously, it takes you through the history of football. I love it. Um, museum that was such a must visit. 
Um, I'm seriously impressed. It's free to get in. Loved all the interactive games you can play. Brilliant. In this square, everything is um, adjacent to each other. So we've got the cathedral over here, Manchester Cathedral, which we're going to go into if um, it's open. This is cool. Harvey Nicks. Louis Vuitton. Royal Exchange there. So we're going to dinner at San Carlos. Um, I've been here before and it's a dream of food. Kids fed first. I always love it when restaurants do that, so that you don't have to uh, worry. So I've got this salmon and a cream sauce. Avocado. I've never had hot avocado. So this is ice cream chocolate. Oh. This is the San Carlo special. We've had such a delicious meal. This ice cream though has defeated me. Amazing meal. It's Sunday, we had a really lovely sleep and we are gonna go and explore more of Manchester. So we're heading to the Northern Port now in the shop car. Um, so much amazing shopping in Manchester City House. So I'll show you what I'm wearing today. I've got this top shop dress I got a few months ago, I've just popped a vest under it. Um, my trusty backpack, whenever we're touring around with family, so much easier to have a backpack, especially because I've got little hands um, to hold. It is quite a mild day, but I've popped hikes on anyway. And I've got these barber boots on as well that are just really good for walking in, as you can imagine. There's a little market going on here. Well, it's quite a big market, actually. Let's, let's go and have a walk down the market. who's got a market stall here and he said that this market is on every second Sunday of the month so um, don't miss it. We've got halloumi, ah, avocado, gorgeous, gorgeous salad, balsamic olive oil. Ah. So North Tea Power, absolutely um, delicious food. Head there for like brunch or a light lunch. Really, really yummy, and we have such a fab time. So we've just come to the exchange. It's like a cool restaurant in here. I love the interior, got like vintage vibes going on, um, really cool telephones, like old telephones that I remember having one of those in my house when I was young growing up. And we're gonna go off and get our Trans Pennine Express train back to Leeds after an amazing trip. We've had such an incredible time exploring the whole of the north. Say so thanks to Transpennine Express Trains. See you next time, guys. Bye.